great to be back here again, and it's a brand new day with no mistakes. Right, Sharon Skittle? Absolutely, Sarah. How are you today? Fine, how about yourself? I'm really great. Like, I seriously was sharing something. I didn't, this is like impromptu, but I was sharing something with a friend of mine who goes to a gym about the work that you've been doing with my hips. Like, because I have been like very, like, tense. Is it tense or tight? And so, Both. <laughs> <laughs> so my running improves. And for me, I, I say stuff like, you know, like my drug of choice is the a runner is high. So it means a lot to me. So I'm thankful for that and grateful that you've helped me with that because I run sprints and I really enjoy that time to myself. And I think that everyone has a very busy life and often enough we need that hour or 30 minutes to do things for yourself, right? Absolutely. Um, we had uh, the workshop we just did with Blue Cross or Highmark for Fun, Fit and Fabulous focused on better alignment in your body and better alignment in your life. And that's one of the key factors that kept coming up with group after group was the lack of time to create timed exercise and you know it's so important that you make that time and so we had people do a little self-evaluation and ask them you know what would more alignment in your life look like and every one of them said I would have less work more time mm -hmm. so how do you achieve that and you know for each of us it's different and sometimes we don't always have the luxury of being able to scale back some of our work but if you have that option, you know, choose to make time to go to the gym or to do something at home, take a walk. But get out there, get moving, it's so important. And for you, you know, you really do love your running. For me, that would be torture, but it's so important if you're gonna run that you stretch afterwards and that you put the time in. And I know that you're very busy, and so you're probably not stretching as often as you should afterwards. So going to a yoga class is gonna help with that. Right, so this, it's huge for me. I, I know it's unusual for, for for a lot of people, but my workouts are like gold. So when I find great teachers, I'm really grateful to them. And I truly felt great this morning. I I ran in the morning. I had, did it feel better? This it, did, it, it did. It did. It felt I, worse yesterday. I told Sherry about it. I don't know if yeah. she chatted with you, but I think that it's really important to be able to tell people when they're good at something and how it affects you. Because I think that a lot of folks think, oh, well, I'm just doing this, but it's really not there's no benefit and there's a huge benefit to me because that's what I love doing. I really love to run and if there's tightness, you know, in my hip then it's going to have me modify my workouts, which I don't want to do at this point. And I, I love to run. So yes, I, I was talking to Sherry about that because she's like, Oh wow, I think that, you know, I really need to talk to Sharon about it. I'm like, you really should because he, I would never know that this would actually benefit me. You know, there's actually a whole new um, field of medicine that's coming the different um, myofascial therapy, we've talked about trigger point therapy, um, and it really does change your range of motion and increase your mobility and give you a much greater sense of ease in your body. So whether you're working out or not, 